technically follows the exact and I want to give props to this model for that. There is a new model open chat that claims to have achieved chat GPT level result with a 7 billion parameter. In fact, they are claiming that this is the world's first 7 billion parameter model that achieves comparable results with chat GPT. I mean, that is actually a very big claim to claim on the internet because internet rips you apart and validates everything that you say. But before we rip them apart and then understand what they're doing, I truly want to appreciate the team because one, everything that the team has released is Apache 2.0 license. The next one is this team, this open chat does not simply only rely on RLHF, which stands for reinforcement learning from human feedback. They've got a different technology a different way or methodology that they have developed to do the alignment for these models. We have seen in the past that DPO is becoming one of the strongest way that people are aligning the models. And we have a new technology, a new technique called CRLFT, which I kind of appreciate that the team is trying. The third thing why I wanted to appreciate them is this is one of the most comprehensive readme that you would ever see. You can literally figure out how to run this model, how to run this model with a web application, how to deploy this model, how to expose it as an API, how to deploy it with UI. I mean, honestly, I've never seen such a very, very comprehensive readme for any model launch. In fact, a lot of people don't even fill the model code properly. So I wanted to give a shout out to this team for having such amazing detail. Like they've meticulously crafted every single thing on readme. So this is my praise for the team before I jump into the model. First of all, if you see the model, how are they making improvement or what is the claim that they're claiming? So they are saying that they've got chat GPT level comparable result. And when they say chat GPT, one thing you have to remember is they're specifically talking about chat GPT 3.5 turbo and they're talking about March. So since that you don't know what kind of improvements OpenAI has done because one, it's a closed source model. Not everybody is every time running a benchmark for you to keep this updated. Given that you have ChatGPT March level model and you have the new open chat 3.5 7 billion parameter model. Now, if you have not heard about this model, Probably it's because not a lot of people have spoken about it. I have a video from the first model that I link in the YouTube description, but this model is one of the top models in the LLM um, competition or arena that is by LMSYS. So if you go to LMSYS leaderboard, so one of the models that you would see like somewhere here, which is cha open chat 3.5, 1077 with Apache 2.0 license. And that is almost equivalent in terms of the rating to GPT 3.5 Turbo 1106, that is a version. And as you can see, there have been like other GPT 3.5 Turbo versions that have of course obviously beaten this, but this model just, it's not like randomly they are claiming this. This is the first version of the model. I don't think like LLM Arena leaderboard has already updated with the latest one. So this model stays even above Open Hermes 2.5. That's something I respect a lot. It stays above the Llama to 70 billion parameters. So this is the first version of the model. So with that, you need to understand that this model could definitely be an improvement over the first version of the model. Now, where are they making the improvements? If you look at this model, especially from a chat GPT perspective, you can immediately notice that this model has improvement in GSM 8K. Also, as a matter of fact, GSM 8K is a data set that is specifically for math. So I went ahead naturally to try this question, try this model with math, something that we have been using a lot. That is in a totally classical family, a girl named Sally has three brothers, Alpha, Beta, Charlie, who each have two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? And this model answered incorrectly. So I said, okay, maybe the issue is not with the model. The issue is with the temperature. So in this particular case, I had said temperature 0.5. That does not mean the model would always have to give 100% precise answer. So I said, okay, let me try it with temperature zero and then see how the model is doing. The model said Sally has two sisters and you might now start judging this model. But before you do that, I want you to know that even ChatGPT is not good with this answer. So for example, let me ask the same question to ChatGPT 
and when I ask the same question to ChatGPT, even though it says Sally does not have any additional sister, it actually goes on and saying that Sally has three brothers and is one of their sisters. So partly right, partly not right. So you can say that, okay, ChatGPT also did not get it right. So I went ahead and tried it with a different question. So if five shirts take 10 hours to dry off, how much time does 10 shirts take? So this is a classical question a lot of people ask even to human beings to make sure that human beings understand. And typically human beings even go about like this. Okay, I'll take 10 divided by five, take it two and then multiply it whatever number is and I'll give the answer, which is exactly what this open chat 3.57 billion parameter model with temperature zero did. And I went ahead and asked the same question to chat GPT. Surprise, surprise, chat GPT, GPT 3.5 did exactly the same. GPT 3.5 is what is doing this. GPT 4 would probably have given you a better answer. But the point here is that even when we are trying to take GSM 8K as a metric or an evaluation metric benchmark, you can see that even chat GPT 3.5 and this model almost makes the same set of mistakes. So I can like give the benefit of doubt here saying that maybe this model is better than GPT, GPT 3.5 just because it manages to you know like solve the same mistakes that it has done the other aspect where you can see that this model is doing better than chat gpt is truthful qa agi evil and human evil the jump in human evil is tremendous so technically this model is supposed to do better on coding i'm not doing a coding test in this particular video but i'm definitely going to do a comparison video next so stay tuned like subscribe if you want to see but if you see overall, I strongly believe this model is an improvement from the previous model. And this model is actually a good 7 billion parameter model. While they're claiming that this is the first model to have achieved chat GPT level comparison, from my testing, it didn't seem like it is like one of the mind blowing models that are ever. So for example, this is part of my testing. So you can see the already we tested it on two questions and the model did not do good. Before I complain about the model, I wanted to give you one prompt where the model actually did good. So this is the question that I have designed to make sure that the model, first of all, understands what is in the prompt. Second, the model follows the instruction. For example, in this case, Raja and Ravi are brothers. Raja is the elder brother and Ra sorry, Ravi is the elder brother. Raja is the younger brother. Ravi is five years, one month, one day, one hour old. And Raja is five years, one month, one day, one hour old. They're born to the same father and mother. What does it make them? Just one word. The most important aspect of this prompt is the instruction following capability. The model has to answer me in only one word while capturing the knowledge that is coming before that. And this model technically follows the exact, exact instruction. And I want to give props to this model for that. The next one where the model actually does a good job is once again, instruction following and also having the knowledge about the world. So I'm a vegetarian who doesn't eat eggs as well. Is there anything I can eat for a breakfast? It, it, why did I say it? I don't know. Includes protein and has roughly 1000 calories. And it goes on to answer exactly what you wanted. It gives you tofu as an option. It gives you protein powder with oats. So it understands that I cannot eat egg and I'm a vegetarian, so I cannot have meat. So it goes on to give me the answer that I wanted. So once again, props to the model. The place where the model kind of failed is when I asked this question, which is Ungaluk Hindi Terima. So I'm basically messing up with this model a lot with this prompt. In this prompt one, I'm trying to tell this model I'm speaking in Tamil, which is my language, but I'm speaking it as a Romanized Tamil. So I'm typing the same thing in English, but to mess up the model further, I'm just basically adding a new language in this. Now the model is completely off the chart and the model went ahead and then gave me a totally different language in this case, which is Malayalam. It's another Indian language, but it doesn't have anything to do with what I asked. So there is something about multilinguality or maybe the model is not good enough to understand this, but I have noticed Mistral does a really good job. So the reason I wanted to bring this up is that's another 7 billion parameter model and that model has a, done a good job in terms of responding to this particular question while this model has not done, hasn't done a good job. In fact, chat GPT last time I tried did a good job. So maybe now it, it doesn't. Okay. It says, Ama na, na Hindi I mean, like it's a, it, you ideally should say that Enake Hindi Tiriyo, but anyways, it, it answers correctly. It doesn't throw me a new language. It doesn't mess up my question. It answers exactly. So bottom line, I absolutely love this model. And I'm always very happy to see models with innovation. It's not like one of those fine tunes. I strongly respect all the fine tunes that come in the world, but it's not like just simply somebody has taken data and fine tuned it. 
they have used a new strategy for alignment which is CRLTF which we have covered briefly in the first video that we did and this model has made improvements on human eval which is a coding test which I am definitely looking forward to try out separately but otherwise this actually looks like a decent model and also props to the developers who made sure that all the details are available in the readme for us to just go ahead deploy the model and use the model. If you would like to see me deploying this model with web UI and some cloud platform let me know in the comment section otherwise I hope this video was helpful to you in knowing what it claims to be the world's first 7 billion model that achieves chat GPT level result. Even if it is not going to beat chat GPT I'm happy to see this model existing. See you in another video. Happy prompting.